Welcome to Linus Tech Tips at CES 2013. Our trip to the show this year is powered by Corsair, maker of quality PC components and peripherals. Our trusted storage partner is Seagate Technology, and our trusted networking partner is Linksys. In the Sharp booth, the first thing we checked out is the flexible OLED display. So this is only a 3.4 inch model. They've got two prototypes on display here. They have all the same benefits that we're used to seeing with OLED. That is to say they have more vibrant colors, better contrast ratios, lower power consumption, all of that good stuff. However, now all of a sudden you can see that with there's one demo there where it's curved by default and then there's another one over here on the right where they've actually got it flexing in real time. That dramatically increases the applications that we can use this technology for. Now, this, these particular ones right here implement Sharp's IGZO technology, which does a couple of things. Number one is that it is a highly sensitive touch panel technology, and number two is that it dr actually reduces the power consumption again compared to other approaches for when, when it comes to OLED screens. Now, you might say, okay, OLED is already very efficient, why do we care? And the answer is, if you want to build a larger format panel, or if you want to pack more pixels into it, power consumption becomes a factor again. So, the great thing about this is, unlike so many things we see at CES, this isn't actually science fiction. Unlike, you know, the product that was in the Sony booth, where no one from the booth had actually even heard of this or seen it. They basically pulled it out of a box, put it in a display stand, and no one knows what it is. This could be produced tomorrow. If a partner of Sharp said, hey, look, we, we're going to cut a PO. We want you to produce this. Let's get it done. Very, very exciting stuff. Now, 4K is here and now, and Sharp is launching a couple of models this year, one of them in the summer and the other one in sort of the second half of 2013. So that's a 60-inch first and then a 70-inch. However, on display here at the booth, they have what they're calling the future of television. So this is an 8K, 85-inch TV that is actually displaying native 8K content. So the difference between 4K and 8K, quite simply, is 4. But, but not the four you're thinking of, not, not, not 4,000. Actually, it is four times the resolution of 4K content. So what I'd like is for my cameraman here to get up close and personal with this TV. Sharp is encouraging uh, visitors to the show to get as close to the TV as they want and see if they can actually make out the individual pixels. And standing about 60 centimeters away from it, I would say no, you actually can't see an individual pixel. So this is still voodoo magic. This is still not, uh, not ready for prime time by any stretch of the imagination, but maybe five, 10 years down the road, we'll actually be getting 8K content broadcast to our homes or at least available on some kind of future science fiction media. Thanks for watching Linus Tech Tips at CES 2013, powered by Corsair, Seagate Technology, and Linksys.